Hi there, I'm Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture. Today I'm going to show you an effect um, called color washing, but this is color washing on wood. So we're almost going to be staining wood with color, um, but we're using paint, not stain. So it's kind of a different effect. It gives it a painterly effect a little bit. We're going to be uh, doing this dresser, and the reason I chose this dresser for the project, it's in really nice shape. Um, there's a few dings and scratches, but overall the wood is in nice shape, so when the wood shows through the paint, it's going to be a really nice pretty green. So this is in pretty good condition. This is still not for wood purists. If, if you have somebody that really likes wood, they're not going to like this look. Um, but it is, I feel like, appreciating a little bit more of the wood. So first thing we're going to do is lightly sand the entire piece with 220 sandpaper, sand with the grain, and go a little bit lighter than scuff sanding like it would be for painting. We don't want to show scratches um, wherever the wood is showing through. So I'm just going to really lightly go over the piece, take off all the hardware, and then I will show you how to color wash over the wood. stir with a stick, not shake. Um, you don't want air bubbles getting in your paint because it'll show up on your project. So what I'm going to do, I have a damp rag here, and I'm going to sit that on the top of the dresser, and we're going to dip in just the tips of the paintbrush and then dab it on your damp rag. So it takes off some of it, gets it a little bit wetter, and then we are just going to lightly, kind of randomly go over the wood. Now what you want this to look like is that in some places you're going to see the grain, in other places it'll be more solid. We don't want it to be streaky, so as it starts to dry, you can kind of go in some random motions over the top. Just like that. It's just that easy and it's going to give an overall really pretty, rich effect. So. Do another one over here. I like to start going in the direction of the grain, and then as you kind of get it all over, you can start moving a little bit more randomly. Got my drawer stuck here. Just need a little more, just dab your damp rag that has the paint on it. This section here. Alright, you can see the difference here in this drawer versus the one below it. So we are darkening it and overall just giving it the painted look but still showing a lot of grain. You do need to work fast because this will dry fast since it's a very thin coat of paint. We're really drying pretty quickly. So add more water if it's drying too quick on you. You can also add an extender product that'll keep it open for longer. But just try and move quickly. Try not to overthink it. Again, the overall effect um, is gonna be really nice even if some of the very detailed places you know, you think you get too much somewhere, not enough somewhere else. We're just kind of going for the overall effect here.
All right. Now we just let it dry. Again, since this is such a thin coat of paint, it only probably will take about an hour to dry. And then we're gonna be sure to come through with a clear coat to both give it some extra shine and to protect it since this is just a thin coat of paint. Now, any places that you have a little bit more scratches or dings, make sure that gets a solid color and it'll really cover it up nicely. And then you can choose to leave um, some places a little bit more of the wood look. Like here I didn't go as dark um, with the color and I also left the legs, the turned legs, just to give it um, a little bit extra interest. So it's completely up to you. This is a little bit more of a creative approach um, instead of giving it a solid color. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll be back for the clear coat. All right, we are going to seal up this piece, it's all the way dry, with High Performance Poly, and I'm gonna use flat finish. Now, a note about flat finish, it's not actually flat, like you would think flat paint. If you want that really flat matte look, you need to use flat out flat. This is High Performance Poly in flat, and it still gives it a little bit of shine, a little, I would say it's definitely wipeable. Uh, and then the satin is the step up from that. So just to clear up any confusion, the first time I used it, I was like, oh, maybe I got the wrong can. It's, it just has a little sheen to it. So, but I want that on this piece. I want the sheen to kind of even out the places that maybe has some wood left underneath. Um, but this, just give this an overall really cool effect. I think you can see it almost looks like, since we use black, like a really dark stain. Um, so think of this in other colors, like maybe blue or, um, just any of the, I always think of it with the darker colors. So it gives a really cool effect. I'm also going over, you can't see in the camera, but I left the, the feet, the legs, um, wood. So I'm gonna go over those with an extra coat of poly too. So we just stir it up with our stick here and do long even strokes across the whole thing. Then we let it dry and I will show you the finished product. 